and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial six and we will talk about how to run optimization in ADS. So for this tutorial, I'm taking the original design which we had where we designed a filter, we placed some components and we achieved, um, you know, the kind of filter response. Now, in order to make the performance better, we could do optimization or like we showed, we could do tuning. For optimization, we can go to optimization palette and we can place an optimization controller and couple of optimization goal. So in goals, we will go ahead and define what is uh, our desired spec which we want to achieve. So by double clicking on goal, we can type the value which we are looking to optimize. So in our case, we have DBS21, which we would like to optimize and the simulated name here is SP1. X axis will be frequency and we can define the limits. So first I'm going to define a passband limit where I want insertion loss to be more, more than minus one dB. And this should be in frequency range of 10 megahertz uh, going up to 0.2 gigahertz, which is 200 megahertz. We can add a limit for a stop band and we can define our step band criteria. So for example, in this case, I would like to have 25 dB uh, of rejection from 0.35 gigahertz to 0.5 gigahertz. So this is as simple as it gets. If you are working on band pass filter or if you have multiple bands, you can keep assigning more limits as long as they pertain to S21. Now, sometimes if you get confused where to read the syntax from, what you should type, just look at your data display and look at Y axis. This is what we are trying to optimize. So no price guessing there. Now, coming back to the optimization goal, we set a second goal for DBS11. An alternate way of typing goal, even if you write DB uh, capital S11, that will also work. Or you could stick with the regular syntax like shown to you in data display. Now here SP1 will do the same thing. It is written loss, so it should be less than. And let's say I would like to achieve at least 15 dB of written loss in my passband, which is 10 megahertz to 0.2 gigahertz. So that's our two goals which we want to achieve. So both of them are set. Step number two is to set an optimization controller. You have choice of using various optimization types. So we'll start with random. We'll go ahead and set 5,000 number of iterations. And that's the only thing you need to set. If lot of things, a lot of things are visible on your schematic, which you don't want to see, you can go to display tab, clear everything, and then just select optimization type and max iteration. This reduces a bit of clutter from your schematic. So with two steps done, the third and final step is to make the variables inside or the components inside this schematic as variable. So we'll go to simulate menu under simulation variable setup, uh, look for optimization tab, and this is where we have all of our values. So we'll go ahead and enable all of these values to be optimizable. Again, it's your choice if you don't want to expose all of them to be variable. You can also set min and max. So in this case, I will go ahead and set all the inductors to be minimum of one uh, 10 nano Henry and all the capacitors to be one pico Henry. If you want, you can change the upper side limit. Again, there are a variety of formats. If you want to keep it unconstrained, you can even select unconstrained option. That means you're not putting any limits on values to be changed. Now, if everything is set up, we will click on this uh, optimize icon, and this will bring up an optimization you know, cockpit for us to have a look. And this optimization cockpit will try in achieving our result. We can pause this cockpit at any time and we can notice uh, there are two values which are probably hitting their upper cap. So we can, while pause optimization is paused, we can click on edit variable and we can give it up our optimizer a little more headroom to try out other things. So in this case, I just changed the max limit of those two components as indicated in the slider. And once we update, you can see it's, it's all done. Um, the goals here shows you the limit line and our trace, which is our current response. The dotted line shows the response which we had earlier. And now we can continue our optimization. So as soon as we do that, you can see with this set of values, our goals are met, goals are satisfied, error is zero. 
that means we achieved the required specification. Now we can go ahead and close and then it will ask for update the design. If you're happy, we'll update as well as we will update the goals. So everything in a schematic is now updated to reflect the new values. If we go inside, these are the optimized component values and we just give it one final run. And here is our optimized circuit response. There's more to optimization. Feel free to explore at your own pace. This is your five minutes learning about optimization in ADS. Happy designing and look forward for a new video. Thanks for watching.